speak English with this guy. Another hotel video. This one should be very interesting. I would say that this hotel is a little sketchy. It looks like there's a piece of wood holding up this window. And there's a taxi out there waiting to pick somebody up. Yeah, this hotel, um, I'll put up there how much it cost me, but um, let me explain a little, let's get downstairs. Um, there's a luggage cart up there. Someone's coming in, hello, sorry. Are you going out this way? Okay, you won't be on camera. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go out this way here. Yeah, so this um, this hotel, we arrived very late and um, there's a concert going on nearby. We are here for hockey, but there's a concert going on nearby by uh, a man named Garth Brooks. So there were no hotels to be had around here. So we're staying at this one. called the Baymont and um, I would say this is very sketchy yeah I'm not sure what's going on behind me um, th there might may be a drug deal I'm not sure but let's walk away from that yeah I wanted to record this at night because well as we almost get hit by the uh, the taxi that's flying by. Uh, there's some woods around here. Maybe a good place to dump a body. Um, dump a body means uh, somebody was killed and uh, the body goes over there. I'll try not to get anybody on camera because most people don't like to be on camera, but I wanted you to get an idea of this uh, hotel here. And this car is backing up for some reason. I'm not sure why. Oh, maybe they're parking in that parking space. But I am going to probably record my actual room tomorrow morning because uh, my family is in there and. Uh, Everybody's taking a shower and stuff like that, but uh, I don't want to bother them. But I did want to show you the outside of this place. Um, I can teach you the word prostitute. Um, I think when we arrived here, uh, there was a prostitute walking in. Actually, I'm not, I'm not going to teach that word. That might be a word you have to look up. There's another cab for some reason. That's the, the second, oh, I think I've said cab a couple times. That might be slang for taxi, but yeah, two taxis so far, or two cabs. We'll go take a look at the lobby. There actually looks like a, a nice hotel over here. But we're not staying in that one. We're staying here. The trash could probably be emptied. Hmm. Looks like the grass could be mowed. Yeah, I wish this was my hotel. I don't know. Might be, uh oh, what is this? Is this an alcoholic bed? Oh yeah. It's still cold. I can't quite tell if that's an alcoholic beverage or not. The stairs are falling apart. 
there's somebody over there walking their dog. A lot of people are getting into that taxi for some reason. I'm not sure why, but maybe they don't have a car. Maybe they're going to the airport or something. We might say those stairs are rickety. They're practically falling apart. Uh, let's go inside here. Hopefully they don't ask me to stop recording, but like always, I'll try not to get anybody on, on video. There's actually somebody at the desk. They may ask me to stop recording. Oh, actually, there's people everywhere. I wanted to go into the lobby, but there were just like so many people there. They didn't say to, they didn't say to stop recording, but they had to have seen my camera. Yeah, this is, I think this is going to be the strangest uh, hotel English lesson ever. We can go check out the vending machine. I don't think they have a gym to work out in. I don't think they have a pool. They do have ice though. Let's see if it works. Now those drinks look good. Um, it said it was at 37 degrees Fahrenheit. Said it right there, call it a refreshing drink. Oh, it was too quick, but 37 degrees Fahrenheit is actually pretty nice. Let's see. Ice machine works. All right, and there's somebody down there. A lot of people here, even though it is pretty late at night. Nine, it's, it's 10, 10 05. So, like I said, I think the next time you see me, we will take a look at my actual room. Do not disturb. That means they don't want any visitors. That was a Domino's Pizza advertisement. It's under here. This is where we came out. Looks like some um, extra office furniture, we might call it. And then a jack, I think a jack, like a car jack. Um, a car jack would lift up a car if it needed to be fixed. I think there's a car jack back there. Can, we can move the luggage cart. Yeah, I think that's a car jack. Ooh, I heard somebody. Alright, um, next time you see me, I think we'll be in my room. When I finished filming, I thought I would just go to my room and stay there. But uh, my wife, Jamie, uh, my nickname for her is Bugs. She said, if you are near the waters, can you bring? You know, not exactly perfect English, but you don't have to use perfect English when you're texting, right? What she meant was, in our car, we have waters. And if I was filming near the car, could I grab waters? I got all the way up to the room. Before I read that message. So I'm going back out and I thought I would film just in case anything crazy happened. But it's a... Uh, the hotel is right near the highway. So I'm hoping that it won't be too loud. But if you've seen 
Oh, smells like weed. Uh, marijuana. Uh, most people in the United States will call it weed. Uh, if they're older, it might be pot, but oh my gosh, it smells pretty heavy. It is, I think it's legal in the state. It's legal in the state that I live in. Weed, marijuana. Um, let me know in the comments, is it legal in your part of the world where you live? I do want to do an English lesson at a weed shop. If I can find a weed shop that will let me... Oh, here's our car. If I can find a weed shop that will let me film in there. All right, this is, we call this a key fob. Make sure it's unlocked. Is it unlocked? Okay. Yeah, it's unlocked and um, there are the waters. called Poland Spring Water and they're uh, a main company where I live so I'm just gonna load this bag up yeah when we're staying at hotels we will grab uh, a bunch of waters this is a uh, not sure if you can see that but it's a 24 pack so we will grab these waters because it's a lot cheaper. Now they are plastic bottles, but they do get recycled. Just grabbing a bunch. And then we have a uh, refrigerator. We have a refrigerator in our room. So we'll have a whole bag full of waters that we can drink and it won't cost that much money. Um, there are vending machines. Each soda or water is probably two or three dollars anyway. So, oh no. I don't have a key to get back in. Yeah, that's not exactly safe. Somebody left the door open. So pretty much anybody can come in here now. Uh, at least I was able to get in. Usually, usually you need your hotel key to get into the hotel, but that door is just kind of uh, propped open, we might say, propped open. Um, usually you would put something in the door to prop it open like a piece of the carpet or a little piece of wood, but I don't think anything was propping open that door. Well, it's actually a dollar for a can of soda. Looks like they have Coke, Sprite, ginger ale. Do you know what that is? Ginger ale. Some people love it. Some people hate it. I kind of like it. All right, we're getting close to my room. I got my Old Navy. Old Navy bag that is uh, an American clothing store. We, uh, we bought some clothes today. I needed socks, so, and shorts. So I got a couple pairs of socks and a couple pairs of shorts. All right, next time I see you, we'll be in there. Did I mention peephole? That little thing on the door is a peephole. So you can know um, who's knocking at your door. I need to knock right now because I don't have my hotel key. It's really early in the morning. I think it's like almost six. Yeah, almost six in the morning. So nobody is down in the lobby so I can film now. But unfortunately breakfast isn't for about another hour. 
starts at 7 and they don't want you to bring your breakfast back to your room probably because it's just I don't know make a mess in there maybe ants especially this time of year this is uh, early summer late spring we have a lot of ants in the United States and if you bring food into your room and leave it there uh, it might cause uh, you to get some ants There is a vending machine just in case you're hungry any time of the day, but I think it only requires money. I don't think you can use your credit card here. Yeah, you need cash. But I guess if I wanted some breakfast, um, probably have some coffee that looks like it's running and uh, maybe cereal but doesn't look like there's any milk unless it's over here nah that's locked so looks like we're out of luck but this is what the lobby looks like It looks a little nicer during the day. I'm gonna check those woods to see if uh, I see any bodies. Hmm. Probably not. Actually, it seems uh, quite nice. Here's the here's what the hotel looks like in the daytime. Nothing fancy, but uh, I probably wouldn't want to stay here again. If there's a chance, my son has an early hockey game, so I'll try to show you the room, but we literally, uh, I wake up early, I'm an early riser, but my son and my wife like to stay in bed as long as possible. Then they shower really quickly and then head out the door. So hopefully I will be able to show you the room, but we might just have to get to that early hockey game and I won't be able to show you the room. Um, you'll have to take my word for it. Have you heard that saying before? You'll have to take my word for it. We say that a lot when you just, have to believe me like I can't show you uh, but you just have to take my word for it it was uh, it was an okay room I would give it a grade of three three out of five it's somewhere in the middle it sounds like somebody's alarm is going off also this is not my room but this room had a door open So we can see what a room looks like. Yeah, I don't know if they left already, but this was just open and it's pretty hot in here. Oh no. I think somebody was smoking in here because look what they did to the um, smoke detector. Yeah, they must have left because um, they left a tip here too. So sometimes you leave money um, for the people who clean your room, especially if you've left it messy, but this looks pretty clean. This bed is made actually. So nobody slept in that bed. This bed is unmade. So it looks like somebody slept in that bed. The covers are messed up a little bit. They are in a little bit of disarray, we might say. Yeah, the covers are messed up. There's a safe in here. If you have anything very valuable, worth a lot of money or special to you, you could put in there. You might also hear that called a strong box.
yeah this room is for non-smoking guests but something tells me they smoked in here let's look at the view nothing special well i hope you enjoyed learning english at this hotel if you're looking for more there's a whole playlist there probably seven eight nine ten english lessons at hotels thanks for watching See you next time.